Welcome! In STAD Foundation Advanced 2024, you can now model, analyze, and design isolated and combined footings according to the ACI 318-19 specification. Similar to the design of MET Foundations, the workflow for isolated and combined footings is as follows. You're going to start by modeling the appropriate foundation for each support. You're then going to perform the analysis and the post-analysis, and then finally you'll move on to the design and detailing portion. For this video, we will focus on the first step in the workflow, modeling isolated and combined footings. Let's turn our attention to STAD Foundation Advanced, where we will be working with a model that has been started by importing an analyzed superstructure from STAD Pro. Since this model was brought in from STAD Pro, all of the support locations, column reactions, and load combinations are already in STAD Foundation Advanced. For this particular model, the steel columns will be supported by isolated footings, and the concrete columns will be supported by combined footings. We will be using 4,000 PSI concrete, 60 KSI reinforcing steel, and the footings will be soil supported. Let's start with the steel columns. In the main window, hold down your control key and select the steel columns. Then, select the geometry tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on the isolated object icon. With this tool, STAD Foundation Advanced will create an isolated footing below each of the currently selected columns. Before officially creating the isolated footings, Enter the appropriate parameters in the Create Rectangular Footing dialog in the data area. For this example, we will place the top of the footing at 3 feet below the base of the columns. To fill the gap between the base of the columns and the top of the footing, we will instruct STAD Foundation Advanced to provide a pedestal. Once all the properties are specified, click on the Create button. Next. Let's work with the concrete columns. In the main window, hold down your control key and select the concrete columns closest to the steel structure. Then, select the geometry tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on the combined object icon. With this tool, STAD Foundation Advanced will create a combined footing below the currently selected columns. Before officially creating the combined footings, enter the appropriate parameters in the Create Rectangular Combined Footing dialog in the data area. For this example, we will place the top of the footing at the same level as the base of the columns. Once all the properties are specified, click on the Create button. Now, let's repeat this process for the remaining concrete columns. After creating the isolated and combined footings, the concrete material, reinforcing steel, and support specifications must be defined. Let's start with the material properties. In the Specification tab in the Ribbon Toolbar, click on the Concrete Select icon. In the Select Concrete dialog, specify the appropriate concrete compressive strength for the combined and isolated footings. Then, click Add to the model. Once the concrete material is added to the model, it can then be assigned to the foundations and the pedestals. To assign the concrete material, select each type of element and use the Properties dialog in the Data area to identify the appropriate concrete material. Next, click on the Rebar Steel Select icon. In the Select Steel dialog, specify the appropriate yield strength of steel, and then click on the Add to Model icon. This specification will be assigned to the footings later when we get to the design and detailing step in the workflow. Finally, click on the Create Soil icon. 
In the Create Soil dialog in the Data area, enter the appropriate soil properties as defined by the Geotechnical Engineering Report for your location, and then click on the Create button. Once the soil properties are added to the model, it can be assigned to the foundations. To assign the soil properties, select all of the footings in your model. Then, click on the Support tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on the Assign Soil icon. In the Assign Soil Support dialog in the Data area, click on the Assign button to complete the assignment. This concludes the process for modeling isolated and combined footings. This model is now ready for the next step in the workflow, which will be performing the analysis.